What's up, YouTube? Dazo Beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today I was thinking, I'm like, yo, where's the stem separation at? I already have FL Studio, so I said, you know what, let me put two and two together, bring it together, make it work like the stem separation. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how to use the sem separation use the uh fl studio as a as a plugin inside the um mpc software and just work from there man it's just a real quick video nothing fancy all right let's go let's get it all right let's go we're going to use that let's heart that first let's add one credit now let's drag the sample drop it in Ooh, i like that i like that i like that all right now let's go ahead and go for um fl studio let's go grab fl studio we're going to use it as a plugin All right, so that's what we're doing right now. Then what we're going to do, we're going to drag these stems and just drag them into the MPC software. And then we're going to manipulate them like how they do it on the um, MPC stem separator. All right, that's what we're doing. So these four right here. That's the base. All right. Ooh. All right. This should be the vocals. All right, so now I didn't have to use MPC. Um, I didn't have to use FL Studio as a plugin. I could have just opened it up by itself, but I just choose to do it like that. So now what we got to do is just drag all three of these. Let's move that. We drag all three of these. This one. Drag it here. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can drag. Let's see if we can drag all both at the same time. Nah. Don't look like we can. All right. So now we have them inside the NPC. We can always just close this. All right, so we don't have the um, FL in there no more. All right, so all we need to do, add a drum program. Let's take all three of these and add them on one, one sample, one pad, which is drag right there. On your keyboard, you can hold shift, go to the second one, hold shift, and just add it to the pad. This one, hold shift, add it to the pad. Now we have all three on one pad. All 
all right so now we have them all on one pad what we could do is go to um sample edit cut 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 in the video i kept saying sample edit but it's program edit remember not sample edit it's program edit so if you hear me saying sample edit in the video it's program edit all right let's go back right here you see all of them right here now let me move it over just in case if you can't see it here go all the samples right here right this the bass the instruments and the vocals so now what we could do is let's first um let's play the sample let's go back let's go back to edit That's just the bass by itself. Bring the vocals in. All right, let's add air pitch shifter. Let's do uh, pitch it two. We're gonna do two. All right, YouTube, so that was just a quick video on how to use the stems inside the MPC software, similar to how the stem is going to work when it comes out from the videos that I've seen. That's a workaround or a way for you to go ahead and use it. That's if you have FL Studio. You have to have the FL Studio to do the separation, or you can use any other uh, Serato or any other ones that, you know, that can do that. But that's it that's just the video man i just wanted to show y'all something real quick that was it man all right so let's go catch y'all in the next one let's go